All right, so I already talked about Vinnie Vincent. But how about another guy from KISS, Ace Freely? Is it Freely? Freely? Freely. Ace. This is a guy I wanted to be... Um, actually, the whole story is that when I was must have been about 13 or something, I guess that would be about right, 13 or 14, a friend of mine got into KISS, and I made fun of him. Like, what the heck are you doing? KISS? Are you kidding me? And then I actually started listening. I actually bought, for whatever reason, I bought Kiss Alive. And then I wanted to be Ace Freely. That was that guy was just so cool with his little spaceman outfit. And and then I went back and listened to. It must have been back in the nineties. I got a copy of Kiss Alive again. It was probably nineteen ninety eight or something. And you know I almost couldn't make it through the whole thing because. By the time you get to the last two or three songs, Ace is recycling riffs, right? But that's not quite the point. The point is, um, the vibrato, uh, the vibrato, I believe, is unsurpassed in rock guitar. And also, I, my understanding is one of the, is that he's one. Of, my understanding is that he was one of the first guys to play really loud. And so that's a thing. It's not easy to control a Marshall. Uh, you know, a stack or whatever, 100 watt. Maybe he had dual 100 watts. He was loud. Uh, I think it's kind of sad that in a lot of these videos that they re-released, that Gene and Paul re-released, that, um, you know, right in the middle of Ace's solo, you're still, they're still showing Gene and Paul. I don't get that. I don't, I don't understand that on any level. You know, wow, those guys, uh, they must have had a falling out. Uh, Ace had that vibrato, and to this day, you know, songs like Strutter, well, you could list off a whole lot of them. Um, he was a big contributor to rock guitar. Uh, so, oh, I guess I will say that I think he was more talented than his development eventually displayed, if that makes any sense. Like, um, uh, Maybe success hit him too early and too often, and then he didn't work. He didn't have to work anymore, but he could have gone a lot further in his playing development, but he didn't have to. So I think that he was amazing on one level, and then on another level was um, underdeveloped. 